My recent purchase here, I figured I'd do a review on. Uh, it's a Peak 409P four post lift. About the best tool I've added to my shop. Uh, it's your, uh, wouldn't call it low end, uh, mid range price Chinese uh, four post lift. Uh, it's got US made hydraulics on it. Uh, overall, pretty happy with it. It's pretty quick going up and down in the 220 version. Uh, it's got a few little issues, but uh, I'll explain those as we go here. We'll just uh, take a walk around and uh, show you what it looks like. Power unit. It doesn't come with a cord or anything, you, uh, you wire it in. I used a 12 gauge wire into a 220 15 amp circuit. Hydraulics. The ramps are very heavy. Uh, the whole unit weighs 1900 pounds. Comes in a nicely uh, held together crate that's all welded. The welds on the unit are pretty nice. The ramps are built really heavy duty. They're awful heavy for lifting. They do have an optional uh, aluminum set, but at $325 I'm not spending that. You have the option of bolting it to the floor or having it portable with the wheel kit. The optional wheel kit. Not sure that I'm going to use them a whole bunch, but they're there if I need them. I can move the, uh, the lift to the opposite side of the shop if I have to. Comes with the anchor bolts if you do choose to anchor it. One of the problems, uh, three of the posts come with a two and a half foot long uh, peak deckle that sticks to the posts and right out of the package they were peeling. Doesn't matter how many times you press them back down, they lift on the edges and the corners, so I just pulled them off because they looked really bad. Comes with stops on the front. You can also lift the ramps off the back and there's quarter inch plate stops to put on the back end. Large pulleys, they're probably five inch in diameter. It's got double locks, hardened lock tray, bolted in, fully adjustable from the top. Uh, the instructions are typical Chinese. You better be prepared to read them about four or five times because they're, uh, they're a little confusing and not much in detail. There's virtually nothing on adjusting the cables, just leveling the hoist with your lock plates. The release, the nice thing about this lift, you can put it on any of the four corners along with the power unit just by interchanging the, uh, the end beams. Uh, both, I did two, two installs in the last month and both of them, the uh, release arm had to be modified. It was modified with some heat as it's in a really bad angle and uh, made it a little awkward to use. I'll just uh, do a lift here with it. The locks on it are very loud unless you hold the lever.
pretty happy with the lift time. That was full height. Give you a little look underneath. This is the business side. It's got a nylon rub block that the cylinder rides on along the top. Cables. The shivs are nice, long. The uh, release plate. One of the issues with the instructions, it tells you to make sure that the uh, hydraulic fitting going into the front of the cylinder is tipped up all the way, but there's actually no physical way to stop it from rotating back down, and then your cable could hit it. My fix for that was to clamp a piece of angle iron to the edge of the cylinder to hold it in place so that there's never an issue. Nylon wear blocks float. They, uh, they work pretty good. Uh, another issue with the unit is the, uh, when they welded the columns to the pads, uh, it warped the pads slightly. So they're kind of a dish shape on the bottom, which can cause you a little bit of uh, rocking back and forth when you've got a heavy load up top, which is very disconcerting. So you have to shim them. I suppose if I'd have seen this before I set it up, I could have hammered them straight and been done with it. A couple of the decals here are still on, but they, uh, they don't stay very well. Another problem I had was the hoist came with one cable that was too short, uh, which caused me two weeks of delay to even be able to lift it. The bottom sides of the ramps are reinforced with uh, angle iron, which makes them very heavy, but also very strong. It's a pretty nice unit. It's built pretty strong. I think it's going to be uh, a great addition to the shop. I'll just uh, let her down here. It goes down fairly slowly. Okay, there you have it. Uh, mine was ordered through Babco Sales in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, exceptional people to deal with. They looked after our issues with the cable and everything to their best of their ability. They were just limited by uh, getting the parts from China as they had no cable in stock. Uh, so that was a bit of a, a letdown, but overall, Really nice lift. We'll see how it hangs together here. I'll do an update on it later in the, down the road.